very, very day end. Dave is running a temperature, and none of them has slept I since the explosion. I can't order these guys to go to sleep. Did you sleep up there? It's going to get awful cold in there for those guys. Gene? We have a situation brewing with the carbon dioxide. We had a CO2 filter problem on the lunar module. Five filters on the limb, which are meant for two guys for a day and a half. So I told the doctor. They're already people. up to eight on the gauges. Anything over 15, and you get impaired judgment, blackouts, the beginnings of brain asphyxia. What about the scrubbers on the command module? They take square cartridges. And the ones on the limb are round. <laughs> Tell me this isn't a government operation. This just isn't a contingency we've remotely looked at. Those CO2 levels are going to be getting toxic. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round hole. Rapidly. Okay, people, listen up. People upstairs, handed us this one, and we gotta come through. We gotta find a way to make this fit into the hole for this. Using nothing but that. Let's get it organized. Okay, okay, let's build a filter. Better get some coffee going, too, someone. Yeah, Houston, this is Aquarius. Go ahead. Jim, uh, could you check your CO2 gauge for us? Uh, yeah, Houston, we were just looking at that. Uh, our CO2 measurement has jumped four notches in the last hour. That can't be right. I went over those numbers three times. Jim, that sounds about right. We were expecting that. Well, that's very comforting to know, Houston. Uh, what do we do about it? Jim, we're working on a procedure down here for you. Do you copy? Oh, Christ. All right, Houston, we're standing by for those procedures. Christ, I know why my numbers are wrong. I only figured it for two people. Maybe I should just hold my breath. The deadly CO2 gas is literally poisoning the astronauts with every breath in and out. Heads up, heads up. And spokespeople will not comment further. Go, 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 go. Heads up, people. Look out now. What's this? That's what they got to make. Well, I hope you got the procedures for me. Right here. That's it? All right, where is this, Houston? Do you have a flight plan up there? Uh, affirmative, Andy. Uh, Jack's got one right here. Okay, we have a uh, an unusual procedure for you here. We need you to rip the cover off. I want you to rip the cover off the flight plan. With pleasure. All right, now the other materials you're going to need here are uh, a lithium hydroxide canister, two, two lithium hydroxide canisters, I'm sorry, a roll of gray tape, duct tape, another duct tape, you need an LCG bag, two LCG bags, uh, the red suit hoses, and we've got the flight plan cover. Excuse me, can you give me a their level of carbon dioxide it's uh climbing you're, you're saying that they're almost out of breathable air no wait a second wait a second that's that's not what he said he said we're working you want to cut the duct tape three feet long i'll use this arm just use your arm it's a good arm length okay houston i see what you're getting at hold on okay jack tear that piece of tape down the middle lengthwise all right hold on houston Astronauts appear to have enough oxygen to keep them alive. One thing they have too much of is carbon dioxide. With each breath, the three men expel more of the poisonous gas into the lunar module cockpit, and the scrubbers intended to keep the atmosphere breathable are quickly becoming saturated. <coughs> oh, shit, I tore it. Shit. Uh, Houston, uh, what do we do if we uh, rip the bag? Can we tape it? They just tore the bag. Uh, stand by. What should I tell them to do? Well, they should have one more bag left. But they've still got uh, a long way to come, and they are now working on their backup facilities, their emergency facilities, and the problem is, if anything more goes wrong, they're in real trouble.
any rescue system, the space agency has long since calculated any since uh, any rescue system, the space agency calculated. One sock. Once you have the sock in place, we're going to want you to uh, bungee the entire filter assembly to the bulkhead, right above the limb cam. We're getting close to 15. So how does this flight compare to other emergency situations you faced? Well, I'd have to say that this is the most serious situation we've ever encountered in manned spaceflight. Houston, filters in place. Roger, 13. Suits are relief to close. CO2 canister, select to secondary. All right. I can hear air moving. Just bring normal fellas. Where is, uh, please advise the CO2 status? Uh, yeah, Houston, we're taking a look at those numbers right now. Uh, we're still holding close to 15, Houston. Roger that, standing by. Houston, the CO2 level has dropped to nine, and it is still falling. Yes. That is good to hear, Aquarius. And you, sir, are a steely-eyed missile man.